Morning Year 4 and welcome to Thursday's Home Learning. I hope you've had a good day yesterday and um, you managed to get uh, some of the work done from yesterday. I um, hope you enjoyed the geography lesson, uh, finding out about the northern and southern hemispheres and the equators and learning about some new different countries. OK, so today then, for maths, we're going to be continuing with multiplication. You're multiplying two digits by one digit. So using those times tables, which I hope you're still practising, and making sure that when you're using columns, that although you haven't got squares probably, as you have in class in your maths books, but making sure that you keep those numbers in columns to help um, not make mistakes when calculating. OK, so in English, you're continuing with uh, exploring the build-up of the story, so creating that tension. And yesterday, you were doing this by using dialogue and using the rules of direct speech um, to write a conversation between Romulus and Remus as they started to fall out over where to build their city. Today, you're going to continue with the build-up of tension, but you're going to be using fronted adverbials today um, and um, short phrases or words that can be put in front of the verb, in front of an action to tell us more about it, maybe like when it took place. Finally, uh, Remus pushed Romulus really hard. Um, when they arrived... Romulus decided that he wanted to build his city um, on this hill. OK, so it can be a short phrase that comes before the verb that tells us a bit more about like when, how, where it happened. OK, don't forget after a fronted adverbial, remember those commas. OK. So in the afternoon, you've got a nice fun afternoon. You have first of all got an art lesson and Mrs. Candiano has very kindly put these uh, art lessons together for the school. And um, I really like this idea. It's an artist who spilt his coffee one day on a piece of paper and he drew around it a monster character around this spilt coffee and it was really effective and then he started making lots of art pieces based upon this um, and became really famous for these wonderful pieces of art but they're really fun uh, and I think you'll really enjoy having a go at those yourself. Make sure you're using cold coffee, cold tea, okay? Don't use any hot drinks please. OK, then. And for music, um, again, Mrs. Cangiano has put some music lessons together for the school. And um, you are going to be looking at a composer this week named Vivaldi, a really famous composer, very talented. So you're going to learn about his life and his work um, in the first uh, PowerPoint. OK, and then you are um, going to be doing some activities based around Vivaldi. And then uh, finally, there is a quiz for you to complete. So I think you'll really enjoy this afternoon's lessons. And thank you to Mrs. Cangiano for all her hard work in putting those together for us. OK, children, I hope you have a lovely day and I will speak to you tomorrow. I'm going to um, there's also going to be another um, chapter of our class book if you'd like to uh, follow that that would be lovely and I look forward to seeing you soon have a lovely day year four bye